this is Olufemi Adetuji from Nigeria. I want to engage you in a conversation on rethinking the Barakun, a project on how to rethink interpretation of everything that is contested, conflicted, and difficult. The Barakun meaning barracks, which is used as a holding place for the captured slaves, built for Chief Seriki William Abbas, who was a former slave turned slave merchant. The building is now used as Barakon Museum. This is the first story building in Nigeria constructed by slave returnee, and the history of the building is connected to the experiences of the slaves in the country where they were sold. The history of the residence of the district officer of the colonial government, constructed around 1870 by the British government, is also connected to another form of slave which was perpetrated by the colonial government. The attenuation well is the source of water dug for the slaves along the slave route to Berifu Island. The ancient water source is for the slave to drink before embarking on a long journey to the highland to board the ship. This is the last spot in Africa motherland where the slaves will step on before boarding the ship. It is believed that the slaves are sold to an unknown future, making them not to step on the land again. The building was former office of the district officer for Lagos region during the colonial government. It was later adapted into a museum building by the Lagos state government. The history is connected to the agony and trauma of the colonial government. Over years, the members of Badagri and other neighboring towns are faced with difficulties in engaging with these buildings, facilities, and spaces. For instance, many community members regard themselves as victims and survivors of the practices of the slave merchants, resulting into family rivalry, communal violence, leadership tussles, and many more. The project seeks to initiate a rethinking process through development of positive perception of the slave heritage site, as well as leverage the values and significance of the heritage site to tackle current challenges to the communal peace, coexistence, diversity, and inclusion. Project River has two components: one, narrative for learning, narrow and Climapoli. Naral involved the use of digital storytelling to collect narratives and stories from families of former slaves to develop learning modules and public awareness tools such as documentaries and community dramas to improve awareness, engagement and interpretation of the values of the slave heritage side. The second component, Climapoli, is a monopoly-based game developed mainly for school-age children to interact with various threats and risks facing the heritage site and understand the linkages between the risk and the heritage values to develop adaptive actions and strategies to address the risk. 